Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Chapter One. October arrived, spreading a damp chill over the grounds and into the castle. Madame Pomfrey, the nurse, was kept busy by a sudden spate of colds up the stood among the staff and students. Her paper potion worked instantly, though it left the drinker smoking at the ears for several hours afterward. Jenny Weasley, who had been looking pale, was bullied into taking some by Percy. The steam pouring from under her vivid hair gave the impression that her whole head was on fire. Raindrops the size of bullets thundered on the castle for days on end. The lake rose, the flower beds turned into muddy streams, and Hagrid's pumpkins swelled to the size of curtain sheds. Oliver Wood's enthusiasm for regular training sessions, however, was dampened, which was why Harry was to be found late one stormy Saturday afternoon, a few days before Halloween, returning to Gryffindor Tower, drenched to the skin and splattered with mud. Even aside from the rain and wind, it hadn't been a happy practice session. Fred and George, who had been spying on the slithering team, team had seen for themselves the speed of those new Nimbus 2000 and once they reported that the slithering team was more than seven greenish blurs shooting through the air like missiles as harry squelched along the deserted corridor he came across somebody who looked just as preoccupied as he was nearly headless nick the ghost of the gryffindor tower was staring morosely out of the window muttering under his breath don't Fulfill the requirements. Half of that inch. Hello, Harry said. Hello. Oh, hello, Nick said. Harry. Hello, said Nearly Helen. Heard this, Nick, starting and looking around. He wore a dashing plume that 